How to register for courses on the Nest. This tutorial covers steps to get ready to register, as well as instructions and information for registering for your courses on the Nest. Before you register, please meet with your advisor. Log in to the Nest to review classes already on your schedule. By going to Student Services, Registration, Student Detail Schedule. Next, select Fall 2020 as the term and click Submit. Your Creighton College will pre-register you for a required RSP class and possibly others, depending on your educational plans or program requirements. Plan the rest of your schedule around the dates and times of your pre-registered courses. You can check your registration status by going to Student Services, Registration, Check My Registration Status. Review your academic standing, student status, curriculum information, and any holds you may have. For details on holds, please see Student Services, Student Records, Holds. You need to resolve any holds before you may register. Contact the office sponsoring the hold to make arrangements to have the hold removed. What you need to register. You will need a registration pin and appointment time. This is provided by your advisor. A list of classes with days and times they meet and their CRNs. A CRN is a five digit course reference number. Don't forget to have a list of alternate classes as well. Important information about your registration pin and appointment. Your PIN becomes active at your appointment time and will remain active for 24 hours. It will then become inactive until the freshman drop ad period. The 2020 freshman drop ad goes from July 6th through August 25th. You may make changes on your schedule during the drop ad period. Please keep your PIN so you can make changes. Once you have registered, you can get a reminder of your PIN by going to Student Services, Registration, Forgot Registration PIN. How to register on the Nest. First, log on to the Nest. Second, on the main menu page, click the Student Services link. Third, on the Student Services page, click Registration. There are two ways to enter courses. One, add drop classes, or two, look up classes to add. If you have a list of CRNs for the courses you want, please use Add Drop Classes. If you need to search for CRNs or open sections of courses you want, please use Look Up Classes to Add. To use Add Drop Courses, First, click on Add Drop Classes. Select Fall 2020 as the term and click Submit. When prompted, enter your registration PIN and then click Submit. Then, review the instructions in red at the top of the next page. Now, enter CRNs in the cells in the class shopping cart at the bottom of the page. Please note, only one CRN is allowed per cell. Then click Register Submit. If you are registering for a course that has a co-requisite, please make sure the CRNs for both classes are in your shopping cart before you click Register Submit. When you have registered for a class successfully, a web registered message will appear. If you receive any errors, they will be noted below the list of web registered classes. Please watch for information on correcting registration errors. To use 
look up classes to add, please click on the nest and go to student services, then registration. Click look up classes to add. Next, select the term you want to search fall for fall courses, academic year 2020, 2021 for edge learning community courses. Next, review the instructions in red at the top of the advanced search page. Select any parameters you want to narrow your search. For example, you can use the subject search for all courses in that subject, such as E and G. Add a course number if you want to find all sections of that course number. If you are looking for a course that fits a specific MODGIS core requirement, such as critical issues in human inquiry, select parameters from the attribute type list. 1. CHI, MODGIS, Critical Issues, Human Inquiry. Please note, if you search using attribute type, be sure that the subject is set to all and every other search field is blank. You may play with combinations of search parameters, but remember, a few parameters will yield better results. Next, click Selection Search. A list of sections found will then appear. Find your preferred course on the list. Click the selection box to the left of the CRN. Please note, if you are registering for a course that has a co-requisite, be sure that CRNs for both courses are in your shopping cart before you click Register Submit. Next, click Register Submit at the bottom of the page. When prompted, add your registration PIN. When you have successfully registered for a class, a web registered message will then appear. If you receive an error message, it will be noted below the list of web registered classes. Here are some examples of registration errors you may experience. If you see the error, class, college, field of study, program restriction, you must be enrolled in a specific college, school, degree program, major, or class year to get into that course. If closed course is indicated, the class is full. If duplicate course appears, you may have listed two sections of the same course. If the error instructor or department consent appears, permission and signature of the instructor or department are required. If the message appears maximum hours exceeded, this means Dean's office permission is required to register for more than the maximum hours set for the term, which are 18 hours. If the error prerequisite test score appears, this means you have not met the prerequisite for the course. Please refer to the catalog for additional details. If co-requisite appears, this means you need to make sure that CRNs for both courses are in your shopping cart before you click register submit. Time conflict will appear if two or more of your desired courses overlap in time. If you get a registration error, the best thing to do is to register for something else, like an open section of the same course or a completely different course. To correct a registration error, enter a different CRM in your shopping cart. and click Register Submit. Please be sure to prepare a list of alternate courses and their CRNs in advance. You may have to rearrange your schedule to get a set of courses that works for you based on what is available at the time you register for classes. For help with registration errors, please contact your RSP advisor, the Dean's office, or the Registrar's office.
If your pin isn't working, first, check that you selected the correct term. Next, please verify your registration appointment time that was provided to you by your advisor. You will receive a not eligible to register message if you try to register for classes too early. If your pin still is not working, please contact the registrar's office. Tell us the pin number that was provided to you and we will assist you in making sure that it is correct. If you receive an error message that the CRNs you are searching for or adding do not exist, please make sure you selected the correct term. If you receive a hold message when trying to register, please check your Nest account by going to Student Services, Student Records, Holds. Contact the office sponsoring the hold to arrange to have it removed. Verify your schedule. Once you've registered for classes, go to Student Services, Registration, My Detailed Schedule, and then verify your schedule. Next, click View Course Materials to see the required books and other resources which are available through the Creighton University Bookstore. If you need help, please contact the Registrar's Office by phone at 402 280-2702 or by email at registrar at creighton.edu.